Since I was a young boy, I have always wanted to visit Nairobi, Kenya. When one of my friends invited me to visit the place, I was so excited for the opportunity. So the flight was arranged and I prepared myself for the journey which I was about to take. My name is Elijah Kilt and this is a full documentary of what I encountered while exploring one of the busiest cities in Africa, going through all major areas. Guys, today we are flying out of Mombasa. Yeah, I am from the coast side of Kenya in Mombasa. After preparation, it was time to head to the airport, which is named Moy International Airport. just arrived at the airport and I was too early. too early. At this point, I realized I was two hours early for the check-in, so I decided to move around the airport and explore. To go. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. It's a boy man came and kill it here, guys. Finally, guys, I have my boarding pass here. I don't want to show you much. So this is for the lazy people. Oh my god. So after checking and getting my boarding pass, I proceed so to the proceed, waiting guys. area and people, I waited guys. to board. There is international departure guys, but it's locked right now. So guys, as you can see, domestic departure, flight will be boarding through this gate. So let's go ahead. Finally, guys, you're going to board, man. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me, guys. It's really, really dark, man. Really, really dark. I use Fly 540, which is among the best Kenyan domestic airline. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Flight 540, it's my pleasure to welcome aboard this flight shortly departing to Nairobi. After about an hour, we were in Nairobi.
guys we just landed in Nairobi. Ooh. It's a bit cold. I'm gonna wear my jumper right now, and I'm just waiting for somebody to pick me from the airport, guys. Today, I'm taking you on the street of Langata. Right now, we're in the street of Langata. On my day one, I went to Langata. I took a tour around the area and then went to visit one of the estates called NHC. So guys, here I'm joined by Elvis, the famous guy. Uh, so right now we are here at a dam court, uh. Uh, a very famous court in Mata. Uh. People come here to play basketball. Oh, wow. So like in the morning you see like men, women and children coming to do the exercise here. Uh -huh. Just to be fit. Uh, wow, you you even nice. can see like people are now practicing. As you can see in my background guys, we are at the biggest estate in Nairobi, Kenya guys. One of the biggest estates in Nairobi, Kenya, guys, uh, it's called NHC. And we're going to be reviewing, exploring all about it, guys. Okay? One of the best thing about this estate is the cleanliness and the security is very tight. So we'll be entering to one quarter, is yeah. it? So right now we're going to phase two A. Phase two A. Yeah. So guys, there is phase two A. Uh -huh. And there's something I've noted about this estate. Everywhere there's security. Yeah. Che security, security checking. Is very very tight here. Maze. I love Whether it. It's I love day or night, security is tight. Wow. So right now we are entering phase two A. Yes, yeah, you can see right there. <sighs> First two air guys. At the gate, people are told to slow down. 10 kilometers per hour. Children's playing, no hooting. You can see like the plants, flowers are everywhere. Like it's oh. so beautiful. Maze. Yeah. Let me show them check. around. You see the flowers? Oh, wow. Wow, guys. And the funny thing in Nairobi, guys, you can see the sun. <laughs> That's the sun. <laughs> yeah, show them. <laughs> you see that the sun, guys? Oh, man. It's so cold, man. And, guys, guys, I came here with only two, two jackets, two sweaters. I didn't know that it's this cold, man. Oh, my God. But At this point, we were hungry and decided to look for food. But what we found was a Nyama Choma guy who was only dealing with chicken. And this is the liver. Oh my god. As you can see in my background, the cuckoo things, the chicken was there. We are at a place called Tika Palace. I'm really hungry, guys. And they have the, the salad, the cabbage thing with mayonnaise. I don't know what. So fine, a girl. So fine, a girl. So guys, finally, my chicken here it is, man. Look at it. 
So so sweet guys, so sweet. Here's a quarter which is 200 and a full chicken is 800. Half chicken is eight, half chicken is 400 and there's also um, shakiki which is only 100. On my second day during the morning, me and Elvis went to a market which is located in Kibera hey called to Toy to Market to meet to market with market one again. of my Thank female friends so called much. Victoria Maingi. Right now guys, as you see in my background, we are at Toy Market, Nairobi, Kenya and I'm joined by a lady here. Victoria! Oh, introduce us. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to... Mankili's channel. Oh. <laughs> By the way, I'm the one on uh, intro. Mankili's intro. Yeah. In a week, your time will be in Asia. I see. <laughs> but so, anyway, so to help you have a side. Uh, we are at Toy Market today, mm -hmm. uh, joined by Monkey and uh, Elvis right there. Yeah, right <laughs> in the background, guys. Yeah. 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 Toy Market. Toy Market, yeah. yeah. So, guys, we'll be walking around Toy Market looking for something to buy, okay, guys? Please like the video before it starts, okay? I've already bought something here. Oh, you already bought? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go to the new camera. So, Vicky, mm -hmm. what can you find here at Toy Market? Well, at Toy Market, it's a market like any other. You like Kongoya. Exactly. Uh -huh. But I think Kongoya is bigger. much bigger than this. Uh -huh. But in here, you can get so many things. Anything that you can ever think of. Oh, wow. Kitchen things mm -hmm. and um, clothes and all yeah. that. Clothes, no, a lot of clothes mm. and shoes. Yeah. This market sells almost everything that a market should sell. But mainly what I saw was clothes and kids' toy. And Vicky, do you have anything to tell them? I'll tell them like, share, and subscribe. Uh -huh. And also go to my channel, like, share, and subscribe. Okay, what about you, Elvis? Uh, for me, uh, okay, I have one question, my brother. Have uh, you enjoyed yourself in Toy Market? I've really enjoyed myself, even though uh, I haven't <laughs> bought anything, guys. I've really enjoyed myself. What have you seen so far that you've loved? Uh, the uh, clothes. They the have clothes. a lot of clothes, yeah. yeah and the cereal things yeah. about Amazing two hours guys. of exploring the market we decided that today was the best day to visit nairobi town or what most of you guys know as central business district in the middle of nairobi we are at koinange street content after content after content Nairobi city is one of the most developed city not only in Kenya but also in East and Central Africa. It is also the administrative center of Kenya. Most or all the government works are done here. So guys, as you can see at my background, is the statue of the first president of Kenya, Kenyatta. This is the statue, guys. And as you can see, that is a KICC. Yeah. Guys, this, yeah. ju this is just the beginning. Yeah, yeah man. One be more, more to come. Yeah, more videos more to come, to come about yeah. Nairobi. More about City. Nairobi, and we're gonna yeah. travel a lot, guys. If you haven't subscribed, you better just subscribe right subscribe, now. Subscribe. And make sure you yeah. put the notification bell icon on, because yeah. I'm sure you don't want to watch the video after a lot of people have already watched. Be the first one, yeah? yeah? Be yeah. the first one and leave a comment, okay? Yeah. Keep it loud. On this day, we walked for almost 20 kilometers 
because only by walking you will explore and have a better interaction with the environment to the fullest. Wow guys, look at those horse man. Woo! On my third day I was used to the coldness of Nairobi. So we decided to go to a different place which was the Uhuru Park and Chinatown. The Chinatown is located in Halingam. In Uhuru Park, I met with one of my friends called Kunguri, who is a comedian. And then I started that YouTube channel. Pilipili na kuanga fani lakini leo sina appetite. Asa, basi zote kaka pilipili kidogo. Guys, we are here buying uh, smoky and mayai. This guy anatudanganya kwamba hii anapendaga kula sima. Ah, ugali. Yakubwa call call ugali. Now he's eating Uko, sima. Ugali. Yeah, sima. Ukali. Uh, ukali. Ukali. <laughs> This guy eats ukali. Sasa atu amenileta. Sasa hii inakuwa ama tu kwa meno. Uh, Like And today, guys, we are in Chinatown. I never knew that there was a big Chinese community in Kenya till I was in Hallingham, where I got the chance to see for myself. All of a sudden, we banged to these artists who decided to entertain us. Keep distance. Guys, you see this guy has a talent here. Which one are you? Dennis. Oh, Dennis. Yeah. Guys, we're still walking around. We found Dennis here with his guitar. Yeah. Singing Man, about coronavirus. Yeah. Which one to play it? In the one I just want to give us food. After walking for a while, we came across this mall called Yaya Center where we had a break and took some snacks.
Kings, I'm from Yaya Center, uh, Molly in Nairobi. We came across this shopping center. It had a lot or almost all Chinese food and a lot of mini supermarket where you can get anything that is related to China. Oh my god, alhamdulillah. Guys, this is Chinese tea in Kenya. Oh my god, I'm just enjoying myself. I don't know how they've made it, but it's so, so sweet, man. It's so, so sweet. And the smell, oh, it smells, it smells like there is lemon. Yeah, the, the best the thing lemon, is that Elvis geez. Dairy understand a lot about guys. Chinese See. and the China people. So it was really easy for me to navigate and interact with the environment very well. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Like, we're from here buying water. And uh, please subscribe. And uh, Xinjiang. Uh, so guys today we are in Westlands Westlands Nairobi Kenya guys and I'll be taking you around Westlands I know you're asking yourself where am I staying here in Nairobi? So today, which is on my fourth day, I'm going to show you around Westland, one of the richest streets in Nairobi. Then take you on a tour around the apartment which I'm staying in this fancy area. <laughs> So guys, this is express highway from Mom JKIA Airport to West T, Westland. While exploring this area, I met with a fan called Moses Gadonga in this place called the Myron. So guys, here in Westland, I've met with a fan and also a YouTuber. Hey. Introduce yourself, hey. man. <laughs> what's up, what's up? Yeah, what do I want to kill it? Yeah, yeah what man man kill it. 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 What's up, what's up? My name is Moses Kadoga. I'm a YouTuber. Moses no, man, kill it on my land, Nairobi. Man, ah. yeah, check the building up for me. It was lunchtime, so we decided to go to this place called Food Haven, which is located opposite Safari Com to hit the most famous meal in Kenya, which is Ugali Nyama Choma and Skuma. But we choose to take Kuku Choma. Guys, we are here in Westy, Westland in the food world or world food, I don't know, and with some beautiful salad here. Yeah. Thank you. So there is a Ugali, it's finally here. And the Nyama Choma and Vicky also the same same here. Same same. Uh, cameraman same same. Yeah, the cameraman also has the same same. And here we are adding the salad. Pili pili. Nice one. Vicky, do you want to add some? You see? 
Guys, this is the sweetest thing I've ever tasted today. Yeah. <laughs> the food was delicious. The food was not delicious but delicious. 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 You are very full, Buana. I'm a clock of curry. I'm a curry. I'm a cook. That's come as a one fifty. That's on the screen. I'm going to open your After hours to a mark a full act with Ugali, it is time for me to give you a room tour at this. Beautiful apartment to which I'm staying at. Go inside. Oh my god. Your man killing me. Welcome to Pinnacle Court Apartment, one of the luxurious apartments I have ever stayed in. This place is located in Westlands and it was costing 10,000 Kenyan shillings or a hundred dollars per night. Leather, leather coaches, oh my god, they're so comfortable and I love the art man. Please do know this animal. Is it a cheetah or a leopard? Just leave a comment on the comment section. Okay guys, if you go away, I have this natural lighting coming to the through the window. This is an entertainment. They have Wi-Fi, which everyone needs a Wi-Fi. Oh my God! And also they have a telephone in case you need to call the reception or you need to call outside. You have the necessary equipment to do so. And also there's a lot of channel here. And if you're having food with your family, here is the dining for people. So there is here is the kitchen. Oh, wonderful! I love the lighting. And guys, they have a fridge. If you have to keep your meat here or you want cold drink, you can get it. And this side, guys, they have utensils, spoons, uh, I don't know what these are called. These are knives and some little cups here. They have one drawers in the kitchen. You can store your things. This guy is it's called NPV. I guess when you use your cook here, the steam or smoke goes through this side. Guys, they also have a microwave. If you want to warm your food, you can just warm it here. And this is a sink where you can wash your clothes. Let's go. You can wash your clothes. Let's go, guys. You have a dustbin here also. There is this is a washing machine. This is a very, very you don't have to wash your clothes with your hands like other places. So guys, right now we are going to the first bedroom. This is a two-bedroom house. Guys, you have a, I guess, a nice size bed. You have a nice size bed which you can sleep comfortable. This, this thing which I'm seeing here, Maze. Guys, look at this wardrobe where you can store your things. You can store your clothes. And if you are, you are coming here with ladies, they have a big mirror where they can just do their lipstick or their cutex and makeup. I don't know whatsoever. Let's go to the main bedroom. So. This is the main bedroom, guys. So, guys, this is the main bedroom where I sleep and relax myself. Also, the same size of uh, wardrobe and a working table. This is a working table. If you want to do your working here, edit your videos if you're YouTubers or anything. And also, guys, I love the window here. There's green. 
I love this way, you know. Guys, you know, you can't go to a house without washroom. Ta -da! Oh my god, you can just look at me here, guys. Huh? Look at the lighting there. You can plug your shaving machine here. You shave if you, are, you have beard like me. And this is the shower, guys. It's a size shower. You see? You know, this is where you do your things. <laughs> ah, guys, this seat is very comfortable. After a room tour, guys, we went for a friend, walk outside Elvis preparing and myself and to do a night video. We always hide and always spend his money. Nairobi, huh? Kenya. In Nairobi, Kenya. Nairobi, Kenya. Yeah. 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 Guys, guys, Together look. with our sister here. Yeah. With our sister here. Maze, <laughs> Vicky, yeah. my English. I invited one of my friends called Mary Zillow to do this nightlife vlog with her. And this is what happened. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, guys. Uh -huh. This is Merin Zilu. Yeah. yeah. Where are we in right now? Uh, Westland. Westland. <laughs> Westland has one of the best expensive famous clubs where the rich people or the rich kids come to spend their cash Hours later. We decided to finish the video with some street food. So guys, we are just here buying some little smoky. Yeah. Mm. 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 after On my fifth day, I was invited to a friend's house in Ongata, Rongai. So we took this loud bang matatu and head there. Fabian, been a war here. Please introduce yourself. Hi guys, my name is Fabian. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I do cooking, lifestyle. 
I found my friend who had prepared some pilau, but the pilau had red meat and I am allergic to red meat. We're not picking any today. What are you cooking for us? I'm cooking pilau. Uh huh. Yeah, beef pilau. Beef pilau. She decided to prepare a chicken for me. How beautiful was that? But the pilau didn't go to waste because my friend Elvis Derry really enjoyed the food of this chicken. So guys, Fabian has just decided to cook for me a chicken here. I live by myself, my dear. Oh, oh. Yeah, guys. But if you don't know, I'm allergic to red meat. I would only take white meat which is chicken and samaki fish so guys the food is ready in the dining table i can't wait to just eat let me show you oh my god so guys this is the this is the pilau and this is the rice mm. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys, you can see just the smile, you know, it's because of the food. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guys, let me take this chicken close to me. <sighs> it looks so big here, yeah? <laughs> And um, the rice here. So I'm gonna serve myself. Ooh, it looks delicious and the smell. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm really, I need to taste. Not yet. I was and I said like I, I can just put all of it. Okay. That's enough. Okay. And the chuku here. So guys, yeah, it's my, my. I'm gonna eat from this this plate. So, so guys, let me first of all test the rice. First, guys, I love the taste that comes with the rice and the. Beans or peas, or peas. yeah, the peas. peas. So delicious. Since I can't taste the pilau, I have somebody who's gonna taste it for me and tell me the taste of the pilau. And the guy is in front of me. Let him serve and taste the pilau. Guys. There mm. is Elvis Derry, the king of yeah. YouTubers. Yeah, let me first prepare my throat. <laughs> so I can see here, this is a meat beef. Mm. Beef, uh, this, one, this is rice here. Yeah. And we have kachumbari, my favorite. Oh my kachumbari, god. Kachumbari, uh, right here. Okay. So let me have a taste, a bite of it, and then tell you guys how it is. Like. No problem. First, take the rice mm. and some kachumbari. Yeah. Let it to the mouth. Mm. Mm. It's sweet. Mm. Oh my god. So people should subscribe mm. and learn how to, to cook this kind of pilau. Cindy? Yeah, like she's the best cook here in Nairobi. Yeah. So you, should, you should subscribe to her channel and support her. Please, please because do. This, is, this food is just the next amazing. level, my The next level, you know. Yeah. Mm. Like, le, le, let me just continue eating, man. <laughs> yeah. I should do yes. it. Hey, let me just continue eating, man. Uh. I really love this food. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. how, how, how did you know to? Cook such things, Maze. Did you learn it by yourself? I'm a, did you go to a school? A, eh? You know, it's so, so sweet, Maze. Hmm. I can say I graduated from YouTube. <laughs> I can say I graduated from YouTube. <laughs> YouTube has a lot of videos that yeah, you can yeah you can learn a lot from YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to, to know how to cook. By the way, I never knew how to cook. <laughs> I never knew how to cook, but until I started cooking myself for myself mm -hmm. while in the university. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's when I can say I learned how to cook from there. Because cool. most of the time I could cook food that I love. Mm -hmm. If it's like no matter how it turns out, mm -hmm. but then with practice, mm -hmm. it just got better. Uh, guys, as you can see, I'm enjoying myself here with a cuckoo piece. Ooh. 
A few moments later. Okay, guys, as you can see, my lips are so shiny, so shiny because I'm just from eating a delicious, yummy food. The food was very yummy, delicious, and sweet. We really enjoyed the warm welcome that she showered to us. I've never eaten tacos before, so when I heard there is this lady from Congo living in Nairobi, Embakasi, who prepares the tacos, we were so excited and we arranged a date with her so that we can go and test this food. Hi! Uh -huh. My name is Debbie. Uh -huh. I also have a channel, check it out, Malkia Debbie. And guys, today Debbie has just cooked for us tacos uh -huh. tell them your instagram page Ma malkia debi too yeah malkia debi maze you see those fashion nini uh -huh. hey <laughs> the styling thing i was thinking of dressing up but then you... this weather no ah i'm gonna dress maze i would have a dress you know you know i was telling my fans here kwamba Debbie is a fashionista. Are you a fashionista? Oh, uh, yes, I am. Definitely. So you can be dressed in people. Yeah. You know, guys might don't know how to dress. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> how much? It oh, depends. We can talk about that. Oh my gosh, she just brought me here for a date. Uh, what? Oh my gosh, she just brought me here for a date and she cooked for me. Uh, what are they called? Tacos. Yeah, tacos. We're going to enjoy our tacos here while. <laughs> Watching a football match, match. Over, here. over there, guys. You see, people are just playing football. Free entertainment. Woo! Mm. My pleasure meeting you. Now. Ah, Thank you for coming. Ah, yes. I just and, and I love this hair of yours. Is it? Thank you. Uh, wait, we use two different type of hair. We use the jump, jumbo, jumbo curls, and the yes girl. Here is my taco. I'm gonna open it, Maze. I'm just salivating here. <laughs> oh. Look at it, look at it. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Guys, if you subscribe right now and like the video and leave a comment, I'm gonna share you some tacos. Potato and, the tacos. and everything here. Yeah. So let me test, guys. Okay. Ooh, I'm starting with the chicken. Mm -hmm. Order some food from Debbie. I'm gonna leave the link below the description box so that you can know much. Bede, where is this dish originated from? The tacos are actually from Mexico. It's a Mexican food ah. or a Hispanic food, all in all. So, yeah, they love spices, mixing up spices, and they love the same. So, yes. They're so sweet. How did you learn to cook them, man? First of all, this is my second time cooking tacos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we are at a field and there's a match going on. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So like the first time I made uh, tacos, I actually posted on my Instagram, they were beef tacos. Mm -hmm. But then he said he doesn't eat beef. Yeah, I'm allergic so, to Yeah, so, so today we made chicken tacos. First mm -hmm. time making chicken tacos. Mm -hmm. chicken tacos. And some chicken as well. And some roasted potatoes. Mm -hmm. I cook literally almost any kind of food. I like experimenting to learn new cultures about new foods and all that. Mm -hmm. I don't like just cooking food from my culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I know how to cook quite a few things. Yeah. You can just tell them. Um, Apart from the tacos, there's a which, okay. Which let's just say any meat stuff, give it to me, I'll make it. Any grain stuff as well, any starch stuff, what about especially guacamole? potatoes. Guacamole is like the easiest thing to make. <laughs> guacamole is like the easiest thing you, mm. to make. You just take avocado, mm. um, lemon. After the meal, I decided to ask her a few questions related to her being a Congo lady living in Kenya. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Mankilis. Comment tu t'appelles? Je m'appelle Debbie. 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 Do you love Kenya? And what has been your experience staying in Kenya? Other than the corruption here. <laughs> That's true. Everyone knows about the corruption. Kenya is actually pretty, mm -hmm. but can be sometimes pricey. Mm -hmm. But I think it depends on where you live, you know? Because mm. people from Nairobi who complain about things being expensive. Yeah. And then you have someone living up country. Yeah. They're living a comfortable life. For mm. them, things are quite affordable. So, yeah. yeah. But the guys, 
tumetoka kukula I'm from eating uh, what is it tacos yeah so if you see me you doing what was the capital city of of Congo King, oh there are two Congo there is Kinshasa Congo mm -hmm. and Brazzaville Congo I'm Brazzaville from you're from Kinshasa yeah and how can you compare Kinshasa with Nairobi with Nairobi yeah Nairobi is more developed yeah um when it comes to uh, you know buildings and all that and roads mm -hmm. but I think Congo is getting there as you all know Congo is one of the richest countries me being new in Nairobi mm -hmm. it's so cold is it the same in Kinshasa cold That's Kinshasa <laughs> Kinshasa will burn your life uh, Kinshasa hot. is hot yeah like Mombasa yeah have you been in Mombasa no not yet no. Guys still had to come to Mombasa so that I can take her around. If you guys pay my trip, I'm going to take Guys, I should sponsor her. Sponsor me. Oh. <laughs> they order not tell them, man. Uh, they, they should visit Congo. Yeah, actually, <laughs> do visit Congo. It's a, it has, we have nice food mm -hmm. that I can advocate for. Uh, yeah. Also, don't forget to subscribe to his channel and Please my channel. Please subscribe. Yeah, yeah, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to sponsor my trip. This being my final day in Nairobi, I had to visit the famous biggest mall in East and Central Africa called the Two Rivers. Is this your first time being here, Ama? Been here several times, even taking girls for a date. Giza Torora. This place is very, very beautiful and has a lot of activities to do for both kids and old people. Welcome to Two Rivers Mall. I will recommend a person coming to this mall for the first time to come with somebody who knows the mall so well because it's easy for you to get lost inside and it has a lot to offer which you may not know if you are new to this place so please come with somebody who has ever been here <laughs> Jessie, a content creator from Nairobi, and she told me that she wants to show me around downtown or also known as the River Road. I said, Of course, let's go. You're buying this, eh? So, guys, Jessie has just decided to sponsor me here, so she's just buying some. Buying some dizzy for me. Ah, so guys, I'm just finishing eating my banana, and I gave Jesse to carry the, <laughs> the remains because yeah. you are, we're keeping this city clean. Yeah, but yeah. it's not even clean. Nairobi is not clean. Oh, um, Nairobi is clean, but well, compared to you are yeah. living in a clean environment. <laughs> so guys, right now we are heading to. Uptown. We're going to Uptown, guys. Hey, if you are walking, we are told some areas are not safe in this place and we should not use narrow ways or vichochoro in Kiswahili. And we are told to use the road that we see a lot of people using. But as you know, that we are here with real Elvis, Elvis Derry, and he knows a lot of places in Nairobi. So we felt safe as we walk around with him.
walked all the way to this viewing point that Elvis really wanted us to see so guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end as you can see the view behind me it's so super it a million dollars amazing the view guys mm. guys if you want to come to Nairobi and see everything in Nairobi, come to Guru Park. Uh -huh. I love Park. to come here, but ask for Elvis Dairy. The king of YouTubers, the person who will show you around. Yo, guys, there is yeah. Elvis Dairy, the king of YouTubers. <laughs> the tour guide yeah. for today. Man. Tour guide of today, guys. Yeah, yeah it was amazing. Yeah. 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 I, I hope you have enjoyed yourself. Yeah. I've really enjoyed yeah. myself, my dear. Nairobi. Oh, yeah, my me. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So Boom and Kim and Kill it here. And we are in JKIA, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Right now it's around 4 something a.m. And we are going back home, Maze guys. And there's somebody who has just brought me to the airport, Maze, a good friend of mine. Elvis Derry, the king of it was man. I don't, I don't really like wearing masks, <laughs> but you know you have to wear masks so that you cannot be arrested by the police. It's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah guys. Yeah. Mr. Hope, huh? wish me a safe trip back home, guys, and make sure you like this video. It's yeah. a little bit dark. But On day seven, in the early morning, I was already day, so in Jomo Kenyatta Airport, see, so ready for my flight so to go later, back uh, to six, Mombasa. So guys, right now we are heading to Terminal 2 for domestic. We went to Terminal... Terminal? International? Terminal? International <laughs> side, man. Yeah, I was there, guys. We want to go to national Dom side. Do domestic. Yeah, domestic. Yeah, yeah, right now we are heading there, guys. We are just freezing, man. We thought Kabuti was clean. Kabuti? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my dear guys, I'm gonna miss Nairobi so much, my dear. Thanks to Elvis, um, I'm like a Nairobian because yeah. I just know Nairobi more than you guys who stay in Nairobi. Yeah, so I've gone around Nairobi city. Yeah. Also, also Nairobi, different parts of Nairobi. It turns some um, street food of Nairobi, the cuckoos, the everything, man. Yeah, man. Okay. That's amazing. 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 So let's head to Terminal Two. So guys, we just arrived at Terminal 2 mm -hmm. and yeah. I'm saying goodbye to Elvis here, my brother. Heading to <laughs> Mombasa. 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 <laughs> I'm from Nairobi. Yeah, Nairobi. Yeah. Guys, make sure you check out Elvis Derry's YouTube channel. I'm going to yeah. leave the link yeah. down below the description box. And yeah. I guess I'll catch you another day, my brother. Yeah, when I come, I'll come to Mombasa with Rich Young Dave. Yeah, Rich Young Dave! The youngest uh, artist and uh, YouTuber all the way in Kenya. In Kenya, yeah. my brother. Young Dave in the building, yo! Okay, guys, let me head on. Guys, just got my boarding pass for Mombasa, for Nairobi, Mombasa. I'm heading. This is Terminal. Terminal 2. Nairobi. I'm told to go to Gate One, man. It's really cold, man. In Nairobi, maze. Nairobi, Nairobi, maze. Departure. So we. Relaxing guys. <laughs> Looking at the airport outside there, waiting for my flight. 540. Guys, Maze. Man came and killed here, the logo. And me relaxing here. Look at the seat, man. They're so relaxing. I guess these are places for people to charge their phone. I see sockets. But my phone is fully charged. So guys wish me a uh, safe flight. I have seat number 2C guys, boarding time 5.40, 5.40 a.m. My god, so around 7 EV, I'll be home, Mombasa, Mombasa. 
So guys, there's something funny here. There is this big AC here. <coughs> Do you see that big AC? And it's cold here. Yeah. I think should put the AC to be a little bit like 25 or 27 to 30. Because right now I'm freezing, guys. I'm really freezing. So cold. I'm still complaining about the coldness. Bye Nairobi guys. Bye. Too soon. Too. How are you? I'm good. Oh, to see. Yeah. On the left side. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, to see. Just a board yeah. in front of the engine again. But I'm, I hope you guys are gonna get the view. Taking care of your safety comfort at the back here, Vivian. On behalf of Flight 540, I'd like to welcome you all aboard this flight to mount in a northeasterly direction. Turning right, setting course, climbing to a cruise altitude of 21,000 feet with an expected flight time of one. Flight 417 shortly departing to Moi International Airport in Mombasa. Our captain today is Nimit Patel, being assisted by our first officer Pauline Mumbo. My name is Vivian Arimo and we all hope to make your flight as pleasant as possible. Our flight time to Mombasa will be 1 hour 5 minutes and we shall be cruising at an altitude of 19,000 feet above the main sea level. Please ensure that you have placed your bags either in the overhead bin above you or underneath the seat in front of you. No bags should be by the emergency exits or on the aisle floor level. Smoking and use of cellular phones is prohibited toward this flight. However, portable electronics can be used during cruising altitude, but must be switched off once we commence our descent into Mombasa. Ladies and gentlemen, safety regulations require that we point out to you the safety aspects on board and how to operate them. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to Elvis Dairy who made this trip possible and also to all those who I met during my stay in Nairobi. Thank you to all of you. If you manage to reach at this point, I want to say thank you so much and please give this video a like and also share it to your friend. 
and if you enjoy such video please consider subscribing for such more content thank you so much and i will catch you in my next video my name is elijah kill it or you can call me man kill it Thank you for placing me in the window. Yeah.